Russian forces attacked a retirement home in the city of Sumy with a guided aerial bomb on September 19, killing one person and injuring at least 14 others, regional officials said. A total of 221 elderly people lived in the retirement home. The attack partially destroyed two floors of the building, the Interior Ministry said. There are no people trapped under the rubble. A total of 147 people have been evacuated. People are being moved to new prepared places. They need medical and psychological assistance, Governor Volodymyr Ardiak said on national television. The attack happened in the afternoon. People were having lunch or resting and were shocked. Russia has intensified its attacks on bordering Sumy Oblast, which the military considers to be a response to Kiev's success in the Kursk operation that was launched in early August. Ukrainian authorities are planning to evacuate a total of 45,000 residents from the region. The Russian military is striking Sumy Oblast because of Ukraine's successes in Russia's Kursk Oblast, Vadim Mysnyk, a spokesperson for the Ukrainian military's operational tactical group Siversk, told Radio Free Europe. MYSNYK nevertheless said that Russian strikes on Sumy Oblast would have continued even if Ukraine had not successfully advanced in the Kursk sector. While Russia has ramped up attacks against the region since August, Sumy Oblast has been shelled on a daily basis since the beginning of the full-scale invasion in 2022. It's just a matter of time before they dump all this on us. Either in Sumy Oblast or in another city. But they will strike at Ukraine with everything they have, using the entire arsenal," the spokesperson said. They see our successes in the Kursk operation, and we are close to them, so there is probably some fear that we will somehow operate in other cities on the border," he added. MYSNYK also noted that the Russian military had reduced the number of mortar attacks on the border of Sumy Oblast and stopped attacking Kharkiv Oblast with aerial guided bombs. This may indicate that Russia's resources are not unlimited, he added. Putin has repeatedly made inappropriate statements and demonstrated harsh behavior. He is also prone to changing his position, in particular regarding the goals of the so-called SVO. The behavior of the head of the Kremlin shows that he is a real psychopath. American lawyer Ed Steer shared his opinion with 24 Canal. Steer has worked as a prosecutor and has also studied criminal behavior and is an expert in studying the thinking of psychopaths. Psychopaths, he says, are especially dangerous because science hasn't found a way to control their behavior. The only way to deal with them is through the criminal justice system. All psychopaths are manipulative. They have no emotions, so they feel a void. Psychopaths learn to fill it with certain forms of behavior that bring them pleasure. They get it from manipulating and hurting other people, the lawyer explained. Psychopaths tend not to form friendships and tend to be loners. They can observe the feelings of normal people and exploit them. This happens both on the level of personal relationships and in the aspect of a political leader. The fact that they feel no fear means that they have no conscience. Therefore, according to Steer, psychopaths cannot distinguish truth from lies. They tell lies as easily as they tell the truth. When you look at Putin's behavior, it becomes clear that he is able to manipulate other people because he himself has no emotions. He can also exploit the emotional weaknesses of others. He does not hesitate to lie and cannot distinguish in his own mind between lies and truth because he has no conscience. It is extremely difficult to deal with such people, the lawyer emphasized. Vladimir Putin has launched a strange bid to dub himself the new Jesus Christ and take the religious high ground over his war in Ukraine. But in reality, he's a psychopath with an addiction to cosmetic fillers. British historian Professor Anthony Gleese of the Buckingham University Centre for Security and Intelligence Studies has warned earlier. Before this, Putin compared himself to a new messiah and reeled off Bible quotes as he conflated his role as the president of Russia with having a divinely guided responsibility to defeat the satanic West in the name of Orthodox Christendom.
Anthony Gleese told The Mirror how Putin's opinion of himself is deranged and that presenting himself as a messianic savior is a stretch. He said Putin is a psychopath who is unable to recognize his own mortality and is even using cosmetic filler injections to keep himself looking young.